Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yo-yo. Welcome to Daily Discipline number 558, primarily in a row. My name's Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here. Honored and humbled that you keep coming back like for reals. Hey, today's date is 42720. That means it's a Monday. That means it's a Mamba Monday. And that means we need to attack our day like Kobe Bryant was sitting right next to us with our to-do list saying, why are you doing that? Right? Just like as an accountability partner, pretending that Mamba's right there with us. I love that idea. Uh, nonetheless, it's a work day for me. I'm sure it is for you too. So let's do it. First things first, still the realist. And this is real right here. I'm a Q-tip, right? Yeah, when I'm video chatting with somebody and you know how you see your little your your, your little picture of yourself down in the corner. And I often, it catches me and I'm like, man, I, I look like a Q-tip. I look like a human Q-tip. Long, you know, and like with the beard, my face kind of narrows, you know. And I was like, man, that, the only other person I've seen that kind of looks like that is LeBron James, except for he's not a white Q-tip, right? He's more of a brown Q-tip. And so then, you know, I jumped from there. I'm like, well, maybe people should call me LaRob. <laughs> How about that? Anyway, nonetheless, when I'm video chatting, I look like a Q-tip. It is what it is. I made the decision a long time ago, but like, look, I got gray hair. At least I have hair. Let's just, let's just roll with it. Can you imagine the time and the energy it would take? to try and turn all of this a different color. Craziness. All right, moving on to real talk. Living well is the best revenge, right? Think about that one. Living well is the best revenge. Couple of thoughts on this. Number one, I was thinking this yesterday when I was, you know, I was thinking about what I talked about on Daily Discipline yesterday. It's like, well, what's your post COVID-19 legacy gonna be? And it's like, well, mine is gonna be that I'm gonna turn my backyard into an adventure land for me and my kids. We're just like if, if we're going to stay home, there's not going to be public pools or parks or anything. We'll make our backyard a park. So I always wanted to do anyway. So I consulted with myself and said, it's okay, do it. And so uh, as I was doing that, I was thinking, you know, there, there were some things that upset me at work. You know, there's always, there's always something, right? Like if you think about it, just like I do, you can think of many reasons why you should be offended, why somebody upset you, why somebody offended you. And so at every turn, I just kept reminding myself, like, yeah, living well is the best revenge. Living a happy, fulfilled life that people look at and be like, there's something different about that family. And I'm not saying that to live your life so that other people will be envious of you. I'm saying live your life so real and so abundantly. And abundance is not wealth, right? I'm not talking about money. I'm saying abundance. We have everything that we need. Sometimes we forget it. And we make it out like, oh, I can't do this guy because I need that. I can't do, uh-uh. We have everything we need. Live your life abundantly and differently. And you'll notice that people are like, hey, what do you got going on over here? I like what I like what I'm seeing. I want more of that. Yeah, right? Living well is the best revenge. And eventually, right? So, you know, the, the, the same people who are starting troubles for you now, the bad news is it's not like all of a sudden when they notice that you're living in a life of abundance that they're going to be like, Hey, maybe I should be a little bit, and then they're going to start talking nonsense and all that stuff. And again, living well is the best revenge. Don't pay any attention to those folks. You do you, right? Um, and again, this is the conversation I was having with myself as I was outside, you know, working on the, uh, the swing set, putting that together. Living well is the best revenge. And I don't know if I know, if I mentioned this earlier, those are lyrics from a Kiss song, K-I-S-S, the Kissy Boys. Um that I think I was introduced to that song in like the 80s and it's been clanking around up here ever since, right? But I've heard, you know, there's a, a talk show, a sports talk show host, uh, Colin Cowherd, who talks about this all the time. He's like, you know, when when you're a sports figure or, you know, in your, just anywhere in your life, right? And you separate from a person, a friendship, a marriage, a dating, employment, you know, a sports team, whatever. When you separate, living well is the best revenge. His term is win the divorce, right? When, you know, five years from now, it's like, the, it's like Brady and the Patriots. Everybody's going to judge who won that divorce by, you know, how the next couple seasons unfold. So anyway, yeah, living well is the best revenge. So let me wrap that thought up with this. As I was outside working, just enjoying being out in the sun, thinking, man, this is great. And I'm like, man, I... I really do have a good life. I never had a swing set like this. I never had a pool in my backyard. Never had any of this stuff. My life is amazing. Why would I ever let somebody who doesn't know shit about me, 
make me feel bad about myself. They're like, that's right. I'm the king of this castle, right? Nobody gets in here without my permission and living well is the best revenge. All right, moving on to our thank yous. Number one, God is good. God's been good to us in the good times and the bad. Sometimes we just forget, right? I'm sure you guys don't forget sometimes like I do, but sometimes I forget. That's why I remind myself every day. I'm thankful for the sun, literally like the sun. Um, you know, it just felt so good to be outside. I even got a little sunburn, got a little color. Uh, but it just felt so good to be outside where I just, I love it, right? And then you see what the sun does with the flowers and the grass and everything. I love the sun, right? Thankful for those kissy boys. Uh, I can't talk about the group kiss without thinking about two people. Number one, my brother, uh, God bless him, David Lee Hoback Jr., miss him. Um, and I think that's part of the reason why I still love listening to kiss. And then I think about, you know, the, the neighbor lady that was across the street that told Sam and I one day that, um, you know, if she could do one thing before she left, she'd go see a KISS show. I don't think she made it. It's too bad. Anyway, uh, I'm thankful for Antonio, who came by and helped me yesterday on short notice, work on the swing set. He's been a good helper for us, or for me. And then I'm just thankful for today. Think about that. I think we lose sight of how often we need to be thankful that we woke up this morning and said, you know what? I get another day, right? I get another day of this. This is so much better. You know, it's like, bonus time. All right, with that, we're done for today. Hands up, peace out, we're better together. Appreciate you stopping by on a uh, Mamba Monday. We'll be back tomorrow on a uh, two for Tuesday. Looking forward to seeing you then. Deuces. Hashtag real talk. Go do something with your hands outside. Love it, man. See ya. Bye.